After verifying the patient's identity using at least two identifiers, such as first name and last name and date of birth, place your patient in a prone position, head first, with the affected arm extended above their head and the opposite arm along their body or in a comfortable position. For better image quality and dose reduction, it is advisable to place the patient's hand in the head holder to ensure isocenter. Place your central ray using the system laser light at the level of the radial and ulnar styloid process axes at a midpoint of the wrist joint. Verify the lateral laser light is at the mid-coronal plane of the wrist and the longitudinal laser light is midway between the lateral borders of the wrist. Remember to close the doors of the examination room and perform proper hand hygiene, such as the use of a rub with an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Select your patient from the work list, then click on Patient Selection. Verify the pre-filled information is correct and fill in the patient's weight and height. Finally, select the appropriate protocol. Important note, for this exam, the patient position on the monitor does not match the patient position on the table, allowing the radiologist to interpret the reconstructed images in the reference position. The patient may be head first on your table, however, the wrist will proceed through the scanner feet first. After checking the scan parameters, click Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and scan when the buttons flash. Repeat to obtain the lateral view. Click Next Series. Place your slices box on the AP localizer in such a way as to cover the hand and wrist from the lower third of the radius and ulna to the soft tissues of the middle finger. Then check that the entire segment is covered on the lateral scalp view. Check the consistency of the acquisition parameters, which are often pre-configured. Before continuing, check that the predicted dose is consistent with the diagnostic guideline values. Check the reconstruction boxes. For the acquisition of a hand and wrist CT, you will need at a minimum a sharp or edge enhancement reconstruction filter for bone study and a smooth reconstruction filter for the soft tissue evaluation. Click on Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and scan when the buttons flash. Verify the absence of patient motion on the acquisition. At the end of the examination, accompany the patient to the changing room and tell him or her to get dressed. Provide the patient with any post-examination instructions as indicated at your facility. Thanks for watching. For more great clinical content and special offers on CE credits, follow us on socials.